This is theCUBE, the worldwide leader in live tech coverage. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming on. Thank thanks you. for having us. The one thing that we find from our, our customers or the people we work with, when you talk about fraud, people don't mind that you're watching because you're reducing their liability. You're reducing someone from stealing that credit card from them um, or being able to run up charges. So when you talk about protecting someone, protecting someone's digital persona, their wallet, they're willing to give and take a little bit on what information they provide to you. They don't mind that you know that, hey, I'm in Austin, Texas today, and then someone's trying to charge in you know, Qatar to, uh, at the same day. They understand that. It's not a privacy issue, but I want to ask you about, the pendulum's kind of swung, like I said, it used to be, it would take forever to find out if there was some kind of fraud, and then it became like this flood of false positives, uh, and, and, and and it seems to be getting better, and, and presumably it's because of big data analytics, but I wonder if you could talk about Absolutely. that. Absolutely, our fraud teams, as a matter of fact, at MasterCard, we work very hard to reduce the false positives, because that creates a bad experience for both the user as well as the issuer of that card, right? So what we try to do all the time is you can continue to do learning, machine learning, the artificial intelligence, how to reduce that. As you also look at people's patterns, is this person a, a professional traveler, or a, always traveling? So, that goes into the algorithm. We try to take a look at a false positive around fraud. Do they buy these types of goods with their credit cards? So again, when you start to look at the protection and you start to add those rules into it and you start to actually reduce it, it's, it's all about learning. It's not just one and done. Those algorithms have to be constantly updated in real time in some cases so that you're constantly in a learning phase. There's a lot of great partners and we're here at you know, Dell World, and Dell EMC World and they're here as well to help on that ingestion of data as it's coming in to start to tag it and to start to index and catalog it. If that's the power of what big data can help you with because before you had to do it individually. Now you can actually use the tools. You can use AI to actually understand about that information coming in to do that tagging, to create that lineage. It's very, very important and very powerful.